Hey y'all, it's Anime Game and today I'm gonna be live reacting to Carol on Tuesday episode 4 and this time I'll do it with no timer and I'll explain why during the opening and I'm gonna start the live reaction in 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, it's just a little um, recap we get to um, each episode. Well, more like a uh, flash forward because this is into the future. Hmm. Makes me wonder that we're gonna actually see that. Oh, to the opening. All right, I'll give an explanation as to why I have no timer. The reason why I have no timer, and I'm explaining in this video specifically because I know not everyone has seen my um, my update video. This anime company recently called Enemy Suisha, not Suisha, but Suisha. Pretty much gave me a copyright strike for reacting to the anime, but in that instance, I didn't use footage or a or um, I didn't use any animated footage or anything like um, say sound or anything like that. They just gave me a copyright strike, and I'm just here all like for the last few days. I've been like researching like cheap lawyers, like just in case, because like if I dispute. The strike. I mean, there there's a high, the likely chance. There's a really high chance that I'll be fine. But I'm still researching like for maybe cheap lawyers, just in case it comes down to a court case with this freaking anime company, in case they want to really take it that far. But and then I'm waiting whether to not even dispute it and just let the strike expire because it may not be worth it. I'm just. That's why I don't have the timer today, and that's why the reactions is gonna, is coming out really late today. And I mean, switch up. Just came in like a wrecking ball, and the episode's back. <laughs> that's the spirit. <laughs> Video killed the radio star. Hmm. Well, at least they've got... <laughs> That's not so bad, though. Okay, that is boss. I love seeing those. Hmm. Okay, I guess you got a point. I bet some of them even cost a million dollars to make the really good ones. But it's only got one star, though! Yeah. It has a star, Gus! <laughs> Fucking star! Ah. Uh. What a cheap ass! It's gonna go all wrong. Even Carol's gut feeling. Well, someone or something's off. Whoa. <laughs> it's like the hell is I'm watching you. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> Jakey is adorable. We'll make for like a good plushy toy. And that device is probably gonna suck. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, that sounds cute, though. Oh! Mm. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Is that an Avengers reference? <laughs> That sounds like a Bollywood movie. Sounds like an 80s movie. A sounds like an anime. He's still with the superhero thing. High school musical like thing. So sounds like something from Super Mario 64.
<laughs> what? <laughs> that that is probably not what they were expecting. Oh my! He could probably get to the Hollywood guys, Gus. Probably even a handsome guy. Okay, if Gus manages to pull off that feat, I'm gonna be pretty damn impressed. He'd be pulling his wedding gold. Oh, is that a Coca Cola? Sick! That is so sick. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, my. It's precise. What about the sweat? That guy looks shaking up. Damn, that looks pretty darn good, though, Margarita. Oh. Alright. Oh. That smile. Well, technically the two girls wouldn't be part of that industry yet. Hmm. Yeah. That's life with like Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. I like it. We have to see some of Gus's soft side here. Oh, that's sweet. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. I mean, my other one's shooting sh all the shots and see which one's fucking stick, right? <laughs> Oh, this guy's alright. Is this? This is Aida getting drunk off his own supply? That's bullshit. Shit, who the fuck knows what Ada does in his spirit? Someone no one's. He's probably watching fucking pornography and shit. It's got a nice taste though. I'll give Ada that much. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep. <laughs> nah, that's fucking puny. Jeez. 
Oh, at the very least they can do that. It'd be really fucked if I didn't do anything except for just drink all your beer. Mmm. Oh, the DJ. He should make an excuse saying that he's asking out a woman. He should lie! Alright, make it look like he's going out with a woman. At the very least, he could emphasize the DJ. Oh no, I guess he didn't have to lie. He's got a heart! Oh shit! I honestly wasn't expecting that. I mean, okay. Helping out his bro. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Dresses look. <laughs> oh! Okay, the schoolgirl thing actually does fit Tuesday to a T. Considering um, her upbringing and all that. While the punk rock style clothing fits Carol to a T. Oh. <laughs> is it? Is the owl trying to get some attention? Can't blame it though. I mean, seeing everyone else having fun, you're like the only one not having it. Can't blame it for that. You know what else I like about this scene? Previous episodes were just Carol and uh, Tuesday working on. Now it's got some roadie. Pointing the works, pointing the stops, and those two looking tired. I love it. Everyone's just coming together. Builds up chemistry between the um, between the crew, the main crew. Oh. Okay, that was perfect English. Mm. Huh. Hmm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like a bitch though. <laughs> really deserve some money after all this shit if they become famous. Poor dude. <laughs> It kind of does. First, it went from ending to the ending the world to like fucking zombies. Wait, did he just fuck? 
They just fucked. He just fucked up the car, Danny. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame Carol for doing that. I probably would have been curious too. He was probably fit and skinny back then. Yo! That is bullshit! <laughs> That... How is that? That can't be us. What the... How'd he go from that to... You know what, fuck it. Oh. Oh. You know, I wouldn't mind romance in this show. That'd be pretty interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Adorable though. Well, why does it sound like something broke? Let's hope he doesn't actually break, though. Whoa! No! <laughs> okay! <laughs> That's got me laughing. I know it shouldn't, but fuck. Oh, that's a good question. Huh. I mean, that happens sometimes too after the war. Sometimes people realize what they did wrong. After the fact. Probably with that woman. But well, that's good, though. at least you found her happiness, though. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, That's cool. It's like we're... I love the layers we're seeing from Gus. Like, seriously. He's selfless. To a... To a fault. Let's hope it's not fucked up. Oh! No, they can't be doing that shit to the toys. <laughs> That's their fault! Should've seen the one star rating. Should've seen it coming.
You know, that's actually pretty good, though. Probably wasn't what they were expecting, but... <laughs> oh, that's beautiful animation. Yeah, yeah, uh, I honestly can't, that guy is a gambling DJ, the DJ for being pissed. <laughs> I mean, he lent his, one of his best cars to Rhodey, so, yeah, anyone would be pissed like that. What about that? Oh, that song, so that was a song used in the episode itself. Cool, cool. As for the song itself, I love it. It fit with the show with the whole pick me up again and I feel fulfilled. That's what I actually liked about this episode because it felt like the lyrics again fit in with the actual theme of the episode where while they were working on the music video, everyone else was feeling fulfilled. Gus, Carol, and Tuesday were full of energy. Even Gus's ex-wife was into it. So I felt from a narrative standpoint, the song actually fit with the episode. And even though we didn't make much in the way of plot progression, we got the whole cast to bond together. And I think that's what matters even more. We got to see some of the hustle of Gus. We got to find out a bit of his past, that he actually was married to someone. So at the very least, we did get to find out some plot relevant information. And that's why I really thought propelled this episode to being pretty darn freaking good. This and also, the, I'm still impressed. Aside from the story being engaging, let's see if there's any after credit scenes. No, that's it. And aside from the story perspective, I thought from a character standpoint, it did pretty nice. We got to see more Gus layers that he's a bit selfless. He do, he's not a guy that seems to hold grudges when it comes to his ex, when it comes to his ex, because he wants his ex to find happiness. So that's pretty nice too. And simultaneously, we also get to see him, like, to see him actually go through all of his efforts to, like, just not think of his pride and actually think about Carol on Tuesday. Uh, that was pretty sweet, too, going in on the episode. And to see him actually genuinely have that much faith in their talent was also endearing. So, I thought this episode did a lot, giving off Gus quite a good amount of characterization. And even with the DJ, even though he's kind of a dick... At the very least, he looked out for his bro, although I can't blame if he doesn't want to help out Rhodey anymore because his fucking car was wrecked. <laughs> so, that was also another cool thing about this episode. They gave off characterization for a, for a character. I didn't think they were going to really give much focus on um, last week. And, what else I like about this episode was you get to see a bit of those Carol Street mar Street smarts into effect again because she was actually even thinking this all shit this whole shit was shady. And it makes you wonder, come on guys, you use the internet, you should have realized when to start, but then again I guess sometimes people don't look at that shit. So there's that. There is that. But I did love how they foreshadowed though the machine being a ripoff artist at the very least. It actually did help um did help make the finale of the episode a bit more funnier, in a way. So that's what I thought I did well from a character and story standpoint. Animation and art were pretty good. Music was damn good. And that's why I'm going to rate this episode an 8 out of 10. I thought it was pretty darn good. 
So anyways, guys and gals, these are my thoughts on Carol on Tuesday, episode 4. Comment on your thoughts on episodes in the comments section below. Read the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you subscribe for more. Alright, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.